dear students today i will talk about that any permutation can be expressed as a product of transpositions already we have seen that every permutation can be expressed as a product of disjoint cycles now in this section we will say that every permutation can be expressed as a product of transpositions product of transpositions transpositions means what transpositions means cycles of length so question is prove that any trans permutation can be expressed as a product of transpositions proof let sigma be any permutation sigma be any permutation means what sigma is a permutation of n symbol that is sigma belongs to sn then by previous theorem sigma can be expressed as a product of disjoint cycles let sigma is equal to sigma 1 sigma 2 and so on sigma n where sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma m are disjoint cycles consider any cycles cycle tau of length r of the form tau is equal to a1 a2 and so on ar then this tau a1 a2 ar can be written as a product of transposition as follows how, how we can write this tau the cycle of length r is a product of transposition see here this tau can be written as a product of transposition as a1 ar transposition a1 ar minus 1 a1 and so on a1 a3 and lastly a1 a2 when you when you compute this product when you compute this product then you will get then you will get the cycle a1 a2 for example see here image of a1 is a2 so image of a1 is a2 here no a2 is in the transposition previous transposition so image of a1 is a2 if you want to calculate image of a2 under this tau so start from the right a2 goes to a1 a1 goes to a3 and so on uh, no a3 in the previous cycle from this previous cycle to the left of this transposition so uh, you will get a1 goes to a2 and sorry a2 goes to a1 and a1 goes to a3 a2 goes to a1 and a1 goes to a3 so a2 goes to a3 in this way this position this product of transposition gives you this cycle so this cycle is a product of transposition and this can be written as first symbol into last symbol and product of first symbol into second last symbol and so on and so on and so on therefore any cycle can be expressed as a product of transpositions so this is cycle and this can be expressed as a product of transpositions See here this sigma since sigma is a product of sigma is a product of disjoint cycles sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma n and each cycle is a product of transpositions therefore sigma is a product of transpositions hence the proof of the theorem thank you students this is a very easiest and uh, intuitive in, is just proof thank you